Welcome to the TechSource.TV. As usual, we usually have PC cases that are massive or larger, not in the IETX form factor. Um, we've reviewed cases like the BitPhoenix, Colossus, and the Fractal Design Arc. Both amazing cases, great value for money. Um, now this case, if you're in the budget for an IETX, or if you're in the market for an IETX PC, great budget case. If you're in the market for a case, well, it's not really the best bang for your buck because of size. Um, and this case was kindly provided by my bank account. So, nice to my bank account for letting us have this product. Um, <laughs> so, Leon Lee did not send this to us, so I'm going to be brutally honest now. Um, so, let's crack this bad boy open. And I'll see you after the intro. Alright guys, so, as I took this off for the intro, <laughs> let's get rid of, let's get this case open. I'm going to tell you right away, this is the lightest case I've ever picked up. Um, it's made out of aluminum, uh, something Leon Lee has been well known for, and uh, they've been well known for making great high-end cases. Um, I, honestly, I've never had a Leon Lee case, this is going to be the first one I've ever owned, and, um, and I'm buying the smallest one, like a boss. So, let's go ahead and open it up. In the box, you'll find some uh, cheap foam and a case. Cool. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Um, some cool things on the outside of the box is it says it's made in Taiwan, which is, or actually, yeah, Taiwan. And uh, it's made of the finest qualities. Um, other cool things, it features internal USB 3 and things like that. But we'll talk about that. Let's get to the case. So this case you can get in multiple colors, red, silver, white, and black. I preferred the black. It was a bit cheaper. Um, I was going to get red, but... Red was out of stock, and uh, well, we're on a deadline for building a Christmas, Christmas budget PC. It's not only a Christmas gift, but it also needs to go up as a video on the tech source. It's kind of my excuse to build this PC and burn the money I burned, but it's okay. So, ooh, this is nice. Very nice. All right. So inside the bag, you find a full guide of every, um. Uh, Every awesome product from Leon Lee. Look at that. Bam. Ever need to check anything or need a part number? It's right here. You don't even go on their website. Cool. We have an instructions guide on how to install shit and do things like that. But if you're a pro like me, you do not need one of these. Um, so here's the case. Let's check it out. So we've got the case. It's front. Very nice. Nice sleek look. Got our stealth drive bay, our power reset. Uh, we have a headphone microphone, two USB 3.0 ports, which is great. And uh, going around the back, we get some ventilation going on here. Got lots of ventilation where a power supply gets installed. It slides in and out, actually. It's pretty cool. And it goes right on top, over top your uh, motherboard. So basically, it sucks all the hot air off your motherboard through the power supply out the back of the case. Great design. Cool things on the top here. We find some uh, holes for some ventilation. Sweet, sweet. And we have two expansion slots. Awesome. Perfect for ITX. Standard aisle shield plate gets installed there. And it looks like we're going to need a screwdriver to open this bad boy up. So, actually, I'm going to grab my better one. And, uh, so, I'm going to dock points there from Leon Lee by uh, doing this. But, because they went with this style, which is a pain in the ass, um, it looks badass. So, I'll give them that. And also, we got more ventilation on the side of the case. So, ventilation here for intaking air, ventilation here for your video card to intake air, which is smart. So, there is a lot of thought put into this case. But there wasn't a lot of thought putting into how to open the case. Okay, before I lose all these screws, I'm gonna put them somewhere else. There. Okay, so let's continue. So so far we've taken out four screws to get off the side of the case, which I think is a bit of overkill. Just saying. Just saying. And it's uh, a couple more there. So now we're at four, six. It's number seventh screw. And here's our 8 screw getting it off. Well, since now that I have the case on its side, anyways, you can talk about the awesome rubber feet it has on it. Cool rubber feet. It's got some chrome details. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. So, nice aluminum side panel comes off. It's got the sick brushed aluminum finish. Feels good. No flex. Good quality. So, I'm going to believe them on high quality aluminum. So, we got a 140 millimeter fan on the inside of the case here. Let's see if I can get some, shine some light on that. Yeah, can't really get much light on it. But anyways, as you can see, there's a 140 millimeter intake fan that sucks in the air here. We have our hard drive caddies on the bottom of the case down here. 
And um, we have our accessories zip tied in, which I can, we can't really get to. We have an internal USB 3 header, as they said on the box, HD audio. We have our fan connector, has Molex and also has a three pin. We also have all our front panel connectors. One standard size DVD drive bay, which is a bonus because uh, buying laptop drive uh, DVD drives are expensive as shit. So, and uh, is there any cable management in this thing? No, there is not. So, that's that. That's this case. Very basic. And uh, check it out. Stick around.